Humans. Tribal creatures. From the earliest times, man has sought the company of others as he explored and conquered this fierce planet. Through the force of his intellect, he has been able to expand his reach to every inhospitable corner of the globe. But this intellect convinced him somehow that he evolved from his tribal roots. Join me, Dr. John William, as we shed the brilliant light of truth upon humans in their native environments and strip away the modern veil of misleading terms such as games, traditions, or annual events. Follow me on this adventure to see humans still thriving as a tribal species, here on Living Anthropology. Right, and welcome to the newest episode of Living Anthropology with Dr. John William. Today, we're going to the New York Renaissance Festival. And so right now, we're preparing, putting on our costumes because we don't want to stand out. So this is what we will call Renfest Camouflage. It's going to be in Sterling Forest, New York. Welcome back. I'm an archer. Right. So behind us, you might be able to see there's an enormous satellite dish from back in the 1960s when they were doing secret government experiments here in Sterling Forest. You do might you be able to see that. We believe that they were working on... That's right. They were working on secret mutant experiments yeah, and trying to come up with new weapons. Awesome. Who knows what you're going to find in this forest? Right, so this bloke in the light colored hat keeps looking at me and Zach as if we're crazy because we're dressed like this. But he's the one that looks crazy being here without being dressed like this, right? Right, so now we've entered Sterling Forest and we're about to start going through the gauntlet of all of the actors and everyone that's looking at us. What is this? Shh. This be, a, this be one of those magical portrait devices. I hear tell that there, there be tiny men who work inside and draw everything. <laughs> you too, baby. So as long as you keep very still and very quiet, they don't notice whether or not you work here. Now what we're getting up to is the pirate bar behind me. Right, just amazing construction. Beautiful design. Right, so we bought a strawberry lemonade. And holy smoke! I'm trying to- It's a paper straw. Right, so what we have here is the barrel ride. So the children are preparing, but who emptied the barrel? Woo! Whoa! Yay! Sheriff's allowed. Crikey, I never thought I'd see the day. Right, so we're walking through, and suddenly, oh, my beautiful wife appears on her birthday <laughs> in the pirate Happy area. Birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! <laughs> Right, 
So at this moment, the women are commiserating and trying to figure out where they want to go, while the men are over here actually planning and plotting of what the actual move's going to be. So one of the things that you see here at the Sterling Forest Renaissance Festival is when the locals start drinking at 9 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I don't want to point fingers. It's uh, 12.48. She's been drinking from 9 until So here we are, and we're gonna watch the human chess game. Woo! All right, here in Sterling Forest. Right, not entirely positive, but I think Dr. John William has found the local brothel. Whoa! All the kids now have found a place where they can arm up with wooden swords and bows. Whew! Wouldn't want to be caught alone with these ones in the woods. Right, so now we're going to see amazing feats of falconry and bird handling. Amazing, the raptor's just gonna be flying above the audience. Look at this little girl. She's terrified of what could possibly happen. Right, so the forecast for today was supposed to be rain, all day cloud cover, and cool temperatures. And watch what happens when they're wrong. This one falling out. This one with an umbrella. All of us. We're trying to rehydrate ourselves with Guinness and ale, because it's all they sell here. <laughs> Things are getting rough. Right, now, the heat's been wearing them down all day long, they're walking the sun, and now they're all pointing their fingers at John William, because I'm the one in charge. Look at that look. Oh, I'm so hot, I'm so thirsty, and your hat doesn't give enough wind when I wave it around. Right, so now there's a torrential downpour just starting, and you're gonna see people switch to their tribal modes. It's gonna be all about survival, children, old ladies, everyone being pushed aside as everyone tries to get underneath trees and some sort of cover. Stay tuned, this is a matter of survival. Right. So what an awesome way to end our adventure today at the Renaissance Festival of Sterling Forest. Right, Jack? Yeah. What do you think, Ben? Really awesome. Mommy? Really enjoying yourself in the puddles.